welcome the last three brain cells here on CME Termina blog around the OA, the host of Last Three Brain Cells, host between Termina's on our native television. Like to welcome those watching on YouTube and also those watching on the local voice. Ian, how have you been? I know you've been stressed. Sam? Yeah. Anytime I can talk football with you, I'm doing good. That's good. Um, let's look at, um, let's talk about, let's, let's preview the, um, upcoming season. Obviously, when we had the draft special, um, we talked about the grades and the draft. Um, you know, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's, let's preview these divisions out and like, let's talk about some players that got your eye. I mean, obviously heading into the year. Um, let's start off with the, I think the most softest division, um, in the, in the, um, in football this year. I, I'm going to start off with the AFC East. Um, basically you have Buffalo on a decline, New York, Miami, and, um, and, um, did I say Buffalo, uh, New England. Um, so what's your thoughts on this division? Terrible. Why? It's a terrible division. Yeah, I know. Because, okay, Miami is, looks really good for about, you know, the first 10 weeks of the year, and then it gets cold and they look like people that live in Miami. And then you got the Jets. I have no idea what you got there other than An elite circus. defense. An elite defense they got there. But they're a circus. Yeah, I know. They're a circus. I know they're a circus. So I don't know how that's gonna I don't know how it's gonna go. Could be great, could be terrible. Right. The Patriots are the worst team in football and the Bills they might take a step back. So they don't have any weapons. No. They're uh Stud linebackers out for the year. Right. We haven't even broke camp barely. So, so yeah. When I think I, it's probably the worst division in football. When I look at this division, I think, you know, obviously the story out of New England is Jacoby Brissett, the name the starting quarterback over Drake May. Um, that kind of was a little bit of a surprise for me that they at New England decided to go with Brissett as their quarterback. Um, I know they got a new regime over there. Um, I mean, like, do you think Drake May, Drake May should have started – his first should have started like what Caleb Williams got in Chicago? Um, not necessarily because Chicago has a far better roster than New England. Oh, I know. So they I don't think it's terrible to let Drake May sit for a bit, um, see what happens with the team, the O-line, the weapons. Uh, you know, Caleb, there's no, you know, there's no need. There's, the Bears are... Uh, a ready-made team right now, and they need to see what they got in Caleb and, and the rest of that roster. So I think it is a little different. Um, so when you look at New England, I mean, like, obviously, you can't trust their defense. You can't trust – I mean, like, the only reliable fantasy option for them, obviously, in my opinion, is Rajon Stevenson. I really think that he's going to have – he could have a nice year for New England. I mean, like, that's really the guy that I'm really keeping a really close line if you're a fantasy owner. Um Basically, are you a fantasy owner of him? I am. Uh, I do not own him right right now. But okay. I am. Okay. But you know, we did. Our, we had our own TV draft here. Um, you know, and obviously, I don't know how in the world I had the worst grade. I think I feel I have a good team. Um, so, but other than that, <laughs> other than that, I I think Rosandre Stevenson's a guy to really watch for on a fantasy level. Um. You know, I think he's probably going to be New England's best option to score points this year. You know? No doubt, but it's hard to have a running game when you don't have a team. That's team. true, and they running don't... Running game is a, is a big team effort. And they don't have a team over there in New England right now. I mean, it's a whole new system. They do team. not. Yeah, so it'll be very interesting to see. Um, let's look at Buffalo. I mean, Buffalo, obviously, when you look at the Bills, I mean, like Josh Allen's there. Um Question for me is who's he throwing to? Um, they got the running back and um James Cook. Um, he might be primed to have a big year. Um, so that's a fantasy guy I'm watching carefully. But when you look at Buffalo's passing game and they're, I mean, it's decimated when you look at it. Yeah, I mean they have. Uh, I don't know. Josh Allen's gonna have to do it all this year, frankly. I mean, like, but when you look at it here, if he can develop some players, you know, especially at tight end and wide receiver, um, especially when wake up losing a core, step on digs, you lose a Gabe Davis, um, you know. Do you have Kincaid, though? 
I forgot about Kincaid. Yeah, they have Kincaid. Good. They have Kincaid, yes. They have Kincaid. He's not he's pretty good. I mean, like, but you know, he might be the only pass catcher this year in Buffalo. I mean, like, seriously. I mean, and then I'm not sold on their defense either. You know what I mean? You know they got a good defense. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean that's their uh their coach's background, so they better be good in D, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. They're they're a team I would say under the most pressure to get to the Super Bowl. I think they because, are because you know, it's been a while here. Yes. They they poured a lot of resources. They've been all in. And they had that terrible loss last year to Kansas City where the field goal kicker missed a um almost like a chip shot. And that was just awful. You know, you got to feel for the fans. About Diggs them. also dropped a pass. Oh, yeah. Kansas City. Yep. Yeah, no. Yeah, they've had some heartbreaks. You know what I mean? I mean, a good yeah. song for Buffalo fans is obviously Mariah Carey's Heartbreaker. I mean, like, I know, you know, that would be a good song for the Buffalo Bills because they've had a lot of heartbreaks. His, and I think that's a perfect song to describe the Buffalo Bills right now. You know? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, next, let's talk the Jets. I mean, like, obviously, Aaron Rodgers back um, from an ACL injury. Um, you, I mean, you don't. I mean, Brees Hall running back. You've got Garrett Wilson. I mean, you don't know what in the world's going on with the Jets. I mean, they're like a they're like a a soap opera over there offensively. I mean, defensively, you know, they're very good, but offensively. That's gonna be the key for um for the jo- for the Jets this year. I think Aaron Rodgers loves a good soap opera, and he's perfectly happy being a part of that. And uh, I don't know. It was it was kind of nice last year when he what? didn't play. I don't wish injury on anybody, but it was at least quiet. And it's not gonna be quiet anymore no. with the Jets. Nope. And I think it's gonna be interesting to see how that one goes. Um. So when you look at the Jets' outlook, fantasy-wise, Brees Hall, watch for him. I think he might have a monster year. Uh, but Garrett Wilson maybe might have another monster year as well for um, with Aaron Rodgers now passing the ball. And you know, and I think that could be a that could be a guy to really watch for if you're drafting high. As Garrett Wilson could be a player to watch. Oh, if Aaron Rodgers is healthy, Garrett Wilson is going to be incredible. Yeah. And then, last but not least in this division, we have the Miami Dolphins. Um, obviously, um, you know, Tua, you got Etienne, um, you got, I mean, Jay, you got, um, you got the cheetah there. Um, defense is the one that scares me with Miami this year. Really do. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't, they're not, I don't know. Mm-hmm. They're, they don't, they don't scare me. They don't, uh, they don't wow me. You know, great offense, but but what's it what's it mean when you can't play when it matters, when all your running backs are hurt always, and your defense is awful. So when you That's look the Miami Dolphins to me. So when you look at this division, Ian, um, who would you who would you rank your order of finish? Order of finish? Yes. In the division, I'll go Jets one. I'm going to go, I'll go Dolphins too, just because they'll be hot for a while in the beginning of the year, especially. I'll go Bills three and Patriots four. That's where I'm at. I'm going to flip you here. I'm going to go Miami one. I'm going to go New York two, um, Buffalo three, and I'm going to go New England four. And I think really the reason why is I think Tua has a monster year. They're well coached. Defense scares me with Miami, but I, I think Miami will find a way and they'll win that. Division, you know, you just watch. I think they'll find a way. You know, so we'll all see. right. Yeah, I think I'm holding you to it. I'm hold, yeah, hold me to it, and I'm holding you to the with the Jets winning that division. Um, let's go now to the AFC South. Um, if there's one team that gets me excited for this season, it's the Houston Texans because DJ Stroud. Look what Houston's done this off season. I still don't trust that defense, but. Houston, to me, they could be the next. They might be, they're a sleeper to watch in the AFC. So, what's your thought process, you know, on the Texans? You know, this, this division is intriguing. Uh, I think on paper, it's the Texans to win it. Um, 
Florida Richardson stays stays healthy. They Indy's, have some weapons. Indy's a team to watch. Yep, Indy's a team to watch. They have a good D. Yep. Jacksonville, Doug Peterson. I don't know. Was last year a fluke? Were they? Uh, what did they start off eight and three, something like yeah, that? Yeah, eight and three, and then like oh my god, yeah. I, I so can just imagine. I, I'm not counting them out. I can imagine the Khan family. You know what the Jaguars? I mean, obviously you got Tony Khan and owns AEW. Um, they use Daly's place there. Um, I love the, um, but when I look at Jacksonville, I, I just don't trust that defense. I mean, like, you know, I think that, could yeah. Be, yeah. And I think that's really going to be where, you know, they're going to put a lot more pressure on Trevor Lawrence. I think to really carry that team. Um, they have a running yep. game. They have a running game. Receivers are decent. Um, so when I look at that defense, I, I, it'll be interest, interesting to see what happens here. Um, with um, Jack, you know, yeah. Well, that's true. Also in the division is it's Tennessee, Tennessee, and you may not think much of them. Mm-hmm. I don't, but yeah. they have added a lot in free agency. They lost so Derrick Henry. They, pardon me. They lost Derrick Henry. They did lose Derrick Henry. I mean, mm-hmm. he was. I think he'll be great in Baltimore, but you know, it was kind of it was time. I think he's he's on the tail end of his career. Okay. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Something tells me Tennessee could surprise. I think it all depends on Will Levis. Yeah. I really don't have a ton of faith in, to be honest. Yeah, and so, I, I don't. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, Tennessee, they did improve defensively. I mean, like, I am a lot of, they had some proven players that went to Tennessee. I mean, like, um, so that could be a team to really watch for. Um, from a fantasy perspective, from each team, um, Obviously, with Houston, C.J. Stroud, you got um, Tank Dell, you got Stephon Diggs, you got, I mean, the running game could be the key for Houston. I mean, Joe Mixon there, that could be something to really watch for with Houston. Um, right. They're, they're the team to beat. Yes. You know? Indianapolis, obviously, Anthony Richardson back, uh, Michael Pittman, um, Jonathan Taylor. It, Jonathan Taylor said he's going to have a. Bounce back year. You watch for him. I think he could have a monster year. Okay. And then... Uh, if Richardson's healthy, he will. Oh, yeah. And then in um, Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, obviously. You got um, ETN at running back. Um, receivers, I don't trust the receivers too well. And then Tennessee, I, the only thing I trust with Tennessee is the Tennessee defense. That's it. You know? Yeah. I mean, and they did add, they did add a little bit there, so... Mm-hmm. We'll see. So, we'll when, see. so when you look at this division in your mind of view, what would be your order of finish? Yeah. Huh? I I got Houston. Mm-hmm. I got Jacksonville. I got Indy, and then I got Tennessee. I think Indy could surprise, but I I still think they're going to finish behind uh behind, Houston and Jacksonville. I think it's going to be Houston, Indy, Jacksonville. And Tennessee. I, I just think that Indy, watch out for Taylor. Richardson has a bounce back year when fully healthy. He's scary. Um, and then you have, um, you know, Tennessee. I think their defense will be good to keep them in games, but I just don't think their offense will be good enough. And they got a new coaching staff there, so that's something to really watch right. for there. So, so that's, right. that's our take on the AFC South. I mean, like, we're both agreeing on Houston winning the division there, so that is really – Interesting there. Let's go to the AFC West where this is the division where you got the Taylor Swifty, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Um, then you have Denver's god-awful. Um, and then you have um, the Raiders are in this division. And you got Jim Harbaugh in this division. So when I look at this mm-hmm. division, you know, I don't see anybody in this division touching Kansas City or touching the fighting Taylor Swift. Yeah, I I agree. I think, um, you know, I think the Chargers are going to have a bounce back, though. As much as I don't like the man, Jim Harbaugh is a pretty good football coach. And um, I, can, I can really see Herbert having a big year. I don't I trust see... I don't trust the Chargers. I, I really don't trust the Chargers one bit. I can see them being the only team that will, will could possibly threat Kansas City. Otherwise, you're right. Denver you don't see is, the Raiders? You don't see the Raiders? 
with Gardner Minshew? No, I do not. What? No, I do not. Oh, my God. He looks like he'd be a lot of fun to hang out with on a Friday night at a house party. Watch for Brock Bowers. He's, not... he's going to have a big year for LA for Vegas. He's going to have a big year. Is there a worse quarterback in the league, a worse starting quarterback than Gardner Minshew? <laughs> I don't think he – I think Bo Nix might wait. be. I think Bo Nix might be in Denver. Or, um, he could be. I mean, could like, be. you know, and I really think, you know, you look at Denver. I mean, who does Denver got? I mean, like, they just released Tim Patrick, who I thought would be one of their most reliable receivers. But right. I think that Denver's going to be a mess. I, I really do. I don't trust their defense. I don't trust any of their offensive integrity. They still got both. I think they got all three quarterbacks still on the roster over there. Um, you know, they got Zach Wilson. Right. On, they got Zach Wilson on there. They got, um, you know, they got, got to figure out who the other one is. But Bo Nix starting there. I mean, like, you know, De- Denver, I, I can't trust Denver. I really can't trust him, and I know you don't either. So I but. don't, I don't, but I think I, I'm actually going to give the advantage to Bo Nix over Gardner Minshew. I've seen Gardner Minshew. I know what he is, and he he didn't come in with much pedigree. He's been a journeyman. He should not be starting. You Their think, QB situation is a mess in Vegas. It's you think that they should have went with O'Connor last year? They should have went with O'Connor. I thought he had a decent year next, last year. With I think he'll be there by week four or five, honestly. You, yeah, I think um, that should be really interesting. But he's a nobody, too. They need somebody. They have Brock Bowers. They have Devontae Adams. They need a quarterback. They need a quarterback. They got nobody. So you think they should go after a maybe a Russell, maybe a um, – uh, Justin Fields. You think they should go after him? That would be intriguing. Um, I don't see him going anywhere because I also feel he'll be starting in Pittsburgh come week four or five. Even when, over when Russell Russ Wilson? claims out. Oh my god! Yeah. So that. And then the team we haven't talked about is Kansas City. Obviously, you know they got that deep threat receiver in them, in them worthy now. Um, you know you got yeah. you still got Mahomes there. You got Kelsey there. Pacheco at running back. I mean, there's so many questions when I look. Kansas City's defense doesn't really scare me too much. But there is a reason why they're the um, two-time Super Bowl champs. Um, so Defense is a big reason for that. Yeah, defense, yeah, sure. But I really think when I look at the receiving situation, besides Worthy, who can I trust on that team besides him and Kelsey? There's really not a lot to trust, you know? No, I mean, they got Pacheco, Kelsey, um, you mentioned Worthy. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, Mahomes, and then I think a lot of their playmakers are on D, and they got Andy Reid. Yeah. So, they're good. Yeah. So, when you look at this division projection, Spoon, you got, you're going Kansas City. You're going, what's your projection, pro, division projections? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go KC, I'm going to go LA, I'm going to go Denver, and I'm going to go Vegas. I'm going to I'm going to go KC, Vegas, um I'm going to go um yeah, LA, Den- uh, uh, yeah, Kansas City, Vegas, KC, Vegas, um Char LA and then Denver. That's where I'm going with. You know, so All right. We'll see what happens. I mean, we'll see what happens there. Um, and then, mm-hmm. and then the last team in the AFC here, um, where we talk playoffs, um, the AFC North, I think this is the toughest division, in, one of the toughest divisions in football. I mean, obviously all four right. teams are legit. Um, so when you look at this division, what's your thought process when you look at the AFC North? Uh, it's an absolute gauntlet, man. It is an absolute gauntlet. And I see... I know it's hard to bet against Pittsburgh, but I kind of see them finishing in last, even though they've never had a losing record, really. No. You know, with uh, Tomlin, but I could, I could really see them finishing in the basement. You know, Burrow's got to stay healthy. They got. Pitt I don't know. Maybe wide receiver. Cle- right. Maybe, maybe Cleveland reverts uh, back to being Cleveland, but I don't know. I don't. I don't trust. It's Cleveland and Pittsburgh are the two quarterbacks I don't trust, you know, between 
uh, Wilson and Fields, and then Deshaun Watson. I I don't I don't see it with any of those guys. So I will be curious. I think it's still Baltimore, and uh, you know I think it's still Baltimore and Cincinnati. And, um, in Cincinnati. And Cincinnati, yep. Cincinnati has yep. Joe Burrow back. Um, like I still got concerns up front with them still, even though they went offensive line in the draft. Um, I think Cincinnati, you know, I mean, they could have a bounce back year, but there's still some question marks when I look at Cincinnati. And I think that's going to be the key heading into the next year is if Cincinnati, um, you know, if Cincinnati really bounces back, I mean, it was a rough year for them last year. A lot of that was Joe Burrow being injured. Um, Right. So when I look at Cincinnati, there is a lot of questions. I, Baltimore, I'm scared about that defense still. I mean, like obviously, you know, they lost a lot from last year's team, um, but they still had Lamar Jackson. They still have a um, Mark Andrews. They still have um, you know, they're um, I mean, they'll and they have Derrick Henry. They picked up in the offseason. So I think All if right. there's a team they're that I keep can, chugging, if there's a team I can trust in this division, the AFC North. I think it's Baltimore. I mean, obviously, right. they're going to be the team that I think they're going to make some noise. They're going to make some headwaves, um, and I think they're going to they're going to surprise some people this year. You know. Well, what do you mean by surprise? Because they made it to the AFC title game. Well, they made the AFC title game. And they looked completely they, dominant. They lo- yeah, they they lost a lot though, but they lost a lot on that defense too. So, you know, so when you look at this division, okay. Ian, um, when you look at this division, you know. You said that Pittsburgh could finish last this year. Um, when you look yes. at it from a fantasy perspective, um, with Baltimore, you got Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews. Um, I think Derrick Henry has a bounce back year. Um, you know, and I think yeah. Baltimore's defense, you can trust them, but they did lose a lot of talent in the defense. Um, I got concerns, especially in the cor- in the secondary with them. Um and then from Cincinnati's perspective, obviously Burrow, but you don't know Jamar Jamar Chase's situation. He hasn't been in camp. Um, it's kind right. of like the situation That's with the drama. Yeah, it's kind of the situation with the Jets. I mean, like they don't. I mean, they're um the guy who picked up they traded with the Eagles. He hasn't reported the camp, so there's some concerns right. there. So you know, so Cincinnati, I kind of would stay away from a little bit. Um, and then Pittsburgh, obviously. You know, the running back situation's very interesting there. Um, quarterback, obviously, they, they named Russell Wilson their starting quarterback. Um, I don't think it'll be long that Justin Fields becomes a starter there. Um, and then and then Cleveland, obviously, Sean Watson. Nick Chubb coming back pretty soon. Um, he was hurt last year. Um, I, I still can't figure out how Cleveland won 11, 12 games last year. I mean, right. so when I look at this division here, um, they got a good roster. Yeah, I look at this division here. Um, what are you seeing from the division, Spoon? I'm going to go Baltimore. I'm going to go Cincy, and then I'm going to go Pittsburgh, and then Cleveland, bringing up the rear. I'm going to go. Going I'm going to go Baltimore, Pittsburgh, um, Cincinnati, and Cleveland. You know, I mean, that's really where I'm looking at. Okay. Um, okay. You got Pittsburgh number two. Yeah, I got Pittsburgh number two because of I trust their defense. Um, yeah. So when you look at playoff teams in this division, um, you know who do you think are playoff teams in this division? I think it's two. I think it's Baltimore and Cincy. You think it's Baltimore, uh, Baltimore and Cincy are the two teams? Mm-hmm. So when you look at when you look at when you look at of course. The AFC, um, obviously, who do you think is the best team in the AFC in your mind? Best in the AFC? Best Kansas team in the City. AFC. Yeah, Kansas City. You think Kansas City? Still. I'm going to go Houston. Yep. I'm going Houston. Because okay. look at what they've done. I mean, they're the new team on the block. Um, I think they're going to make some noise this year. Baltimore, you know, I got some concerns, especially on the um, defensive side of the football. Kansas City, mm-hmm. obviously, has been the standard bearer. I mean, they're starting to become the New England Patriots of this of the conference. So I think if I think Houston's got enough, I think they can match up with Kansas City. Um, I think they can beat Kansas City. I mean, you know, if I could, okay. if there's a team I could oh. trust, if I could, there's a team I could trust going in the Arrowhead 
you know, there's two teams I can trust going to Arrowhead. It's Baltimore and um, and um, Houston. I think those are the two teams that can go into Kansas City and win a playoff game over there in KC. I mean, that'll be something to really watch. Interesting. Yeah, so. Right. Yep. Yeah, but those are the teams I'm really high on is, you know, in the AFC, I think my three top teams right now, I would say Houston's one, Kansas City two, and Baltimore three. Those are my top three right now. Okay. Yeah. Are you, are, right. What are you going with? I'm still going KC. I'm going to go Baltimore as a close second, and okay. then I'm going to put I'm going to put Cincy. Okay. At third. That should be really. Yeah, I think they. I think. I think I could see. Mm-hmm. You know, those guys stay healthy, but Stroud still has a lot to prove. Yeah, and I think you. I think you'll prove, it. Think you you'll prove it, man. I think you'll prove it. All right. Go from the AFC. Mm, probably could. Yeah. Ready to go from the AFC to the NFC? Let's do it. All right. Let's go with the weakest division, and that is the NFC East. If you picked up Philly's defense Ooh. this year, you're in good shape because I don't trust Dallas one bit. Um, the Eagles, I think, has got the best team in this division when you look at Philadelphia. Okay. Okay. You tell- like the Eagles the best? Well, tell me. I mean, tell me who are you thinking about this, in this division? Yeah, I think the Cowboys are going to take a major step back, and obviously the Giants and uh, the Skins are yeah. not the the Commanders. You yeah. know, they're uh, they're a ways away. So yeah, I got the Eagles. I really sure. think when you look at the quarterbacks in this division, though, I mean, like you know, J- I mean, they got Jalen Hurts. At, uh, Jalen Hurts. You know, but Jalen Daniels has really been impressing me this camp. I mean, this preseason. But you know, he could be a guy who I'm really excited to see make some noise. I mean, like that's a guy who I think can make some serious noise. Is like you look at what he has in Washington. Um, young team, Austin Eckler running back. I mean, like they got some pieces over there that can make some noise over there with Washington. Right. Yeah, they do. They do, and um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I can see him being better than the Cowboys. I can see him being better than the Giants, though. Well, Dallas, when I look at them, I don't trust Prescott. I don't trust Zeke. I don't trust Dalvin right. Cook. Um, CD right. Lamb is probably going to be their only proven option you can have in fantasy. Ferguson's okay. Um, mm-hmm. but I think he'll be good. Dallas' defense is not very good. I, I don't think they're very good. Um, <laughs> they had a good year last year. Had a nice year but... last year until they ran that Green Bay game, you know what I mean, where they just got <laughs> completely obliterated by Jordan Love and um and um Aaron Jones just completely obliterated him in the ground. I mean, Dallas's defense, their defense, they were sh- shredded by James Conner. I'm oh, sorry, take it. They're shredded by um by um Cook of Buff- a Buffalo. Because they ran all over Dallas. I mean, like, and then. Right. But then again, you know, Dallas and Philadelphia both lost to the Arizona Cardinals last year. You know, which is just really, <laughs> I still can't figure that one out. Um, right. But Dallas, I, I can't trust Dallas. I, I just can't trust them. I mean, like, I mean, like right now, and I said this last, and I said this on our last podcast we had together was, I thought Dallas had a chance to miss the playoffs. I think Dallas will miss the playoffs this year. I mean, that's how that that's my awesome. bold that was that's my bold statement this year because I can't trust McCarthy. I can't trust this team. I really can't trust Dallas. I mean, when I look at another team I can't trust, it's the New York Giants. I mean, I make right. I make a mockery of the Giants when I'm at Oakview. I make a mockery of the yeah. Giants because the Giants Besides neighbors, I don't trust anybody on that team. I don't trust Daniel Jones at quarterback. <laughs> I mean, they call him no. Danny Dines. They call him Danny Dines. You know what? I watched your preseason game. I remember him throwing a pick six for a touchdown. And then I remember him throwing another interception. Um, they, I mean, like, people should call Daniel Jones. I mean, like, they call him call Danny Dines. I call him, Danny, please throw me a pick six. You know, that's how I view Daniel Jones. Oh, Danny picked six. 
Danny yep. Pick Six. You know, I mean, that's a good nickname for him. You know. Oh yeah. Danny yeah, Pick Six. Mm -hmm. He hasn't had dimes for a while, man. He's more like pennies, pennies and lint in the pocket. Yes, that's how I look at him. And we're not even talking Jalen Hurts yet. And Philly changed the coordinators. They have new um, they have um, they have a new running back and um Saquon Barkley. I mean, they got mm -hmm. AJ Brown. They got um, you know, they got players on that team. I mean, like Philly's got a defense who's been de who's should be very good this year. I mean, Philadelphia. Well, okay. they have a new defensive coordinator. Yes, they do. Okay, Vic Fangio. So, I, I, yeah, yeah. I can see Philly being better than San Fran. Yes, I mean, but the question for me is when I look at um this division, I think Philly wins this division with ease. Um, then it's Dallas, then what, then um. Washington than New York. Do you see that that alignment in the division? Yes. I have that exact yes. Yeah, we both see that. You and I both agree on a division this year, which is something. How about you know? that? How about yeah. that? We agree to that in the NFC East. I mean, my goodness. Let's go to the NFC South. Um obviously um Atlanta made some moves this I mean this this year. I mean obviously in the draft. I still don't know why they drafted the Penix, but you know, that may something I may <laughs> never know. But but I think it when you look at that division, it's a pick em division. You look at between Atlanta, New Orleans, and Tampa Bay. I mean, Tampa Bay won the division last year, got by Philadelphia. Um, fortunate for them, they fell to Detroit um, in the um, NFC um, divisional round. Um, so when you look at this division, what's your early thought process when you look at this division? Ah. <sighs> Atlanta, I don't know. It's a, this is a tough read for me because you have the Bucks, who, you know, were pretty good and had yeah. some success. They got Bijan. The Falcons now now have a quarterback. They have a ton of that offensive and defensive talent. They have a really good roster. Atlanta does. Uh, and then there's the Saints, who, <sighs> you know, year one with Derek Carr, not good. I don't mind Derek Carr. Honestly, I think he's decent. They have some weapons. They have a defense. Um, I still, yeah, I, I got to give it to the Falcons, though. I think the Falcons are going to win it, and I think the Bucks are going to be in second, Saints in third, and I don't even know, are the Carolina Panthers, did they get moved to the AFL, the Arena Football League? Is the Bryce USL? Young the answer over there? That's the question I have. I mean, is Bryce he Young the answer? Is not the answer at quarterback. I'm going to tell you that much. Yeah, I mean, I know he's small, but you know, it looks like he's not the answer. I mean, I still don't understand Atlanta why with them drafting Michael Penix. You know, what I mean, eighth overall in the first round. I mean, like, you know, to me, that's I don't know what was the worst pick. I mean, like, I know, I mean, Daniel Jones. Either the Giants taking Daniel Jones at six overall a couple of years ago, or this one. I mean, I think this is a far reach when you look at it. I mean, like they got Bijan, they got um, they got some depth at, at it. they got some, they got my, Kevin, they got Pitts at tight end. Um, they got um, I mean, they got some players there in Atlanta. I mean, like they just haven't been able to put it together when you look at the Falcons. And I think you know, Atlanta, you know what I mean. I think they could do it again this year. I mean, like. If if Kirk gets hurt, you know what I mean. Then they got to go to Penix, and okay, then what's going to happen here? I mean, like there's going to be maybe a controversy for the next three years. You know what I mean? Say like, is Kirk Cousins going to be the the answer in Atlanta? Right. I I don't know. No. I mean, no. That, I mean, coming off an Achilles is tough, man. It is. I mean, like, but. My question is, I mean, like, is he going to be the, the answer in Atlanta? I mean, like, that's going to be the big question that I have with them. I mean, obviously, if they if, if they struggle, then you could see maybe a change to Penix, maybe a possibility for them. I mean, really, that. Right. And then, obviously, with Tampa, you know, Baker's there. Mike Evans is there. I mean, Rashad White's at running back. I mean, like, they got weapons there. Defensively, they took a hit. I mean, obviously, Carlton Davis no longer there on that defense. I mean, like, there's some questions mm -hmm. with Tampa Bay when it comes to their defensive side of the football. Um, but offensively, they got some, they got players that can score some points. 
They do. They do. Yeah. Mike Evans still, yeah. you know, produces. I, I, I don't know though. I, I still think, um, I, I still view Baker as not good. To be honest. So wow. okay. I, I think, I think, I think they, they, they got lucky with Philly in the first round last year. They came Philly, to Detroit yep. and they played a bad secondary in Detroit, ended up losing. And I think that might be, that might be it for Tampa. We'll see though. I think, I think it's still Atlanta's division. So you're going to go with the Falcons winning the division. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go Tampa winning the division. I think it's. I think my. You think it's going to be Atlanta, Tampa, New Orleans, and then um, Carolina. Yeah, I could see Tampa, New Orleans flipping. You know, for second in the division, but yeah. I see Tampa, Atlanta, um, New Orleans, and then um, Carolina. That's my thought process in the division so we'll see what happens there Giddy up. yep let's go yep. to the nfc west here before we talk the north um obviously san fran la seattle arizona watch out for arizona this year i think they're gonna be improved this year i think they will be i agree even though that i i mean they, they got a quarterback Kyler murray back healthy marvin harrison jr mm-hmm. deep threat um mm-hmm. james connor running back i'm telling you I think this division's not as easy as you think it's going to be for the 49ers. And plus, San Fran's got some issues a little bit. Right. Yeah, I mean, I could see, I hate to say it, but I could see L.A. winning the division. I could see L.A. winning the division, too. With Stafford there, you got um, Atwell, you got Puka Nakua, um, you got Cooper Cup, who you drafted, um, Kyron Williams at running back. Defense is the only thing that scares me with L.A., um, with the Rams. I think the defense can be a big problem for the Rams this year. Um, Arizona's going to be okay defensively. I think they're going to be all right. Seattle, their defense is legit. Offensively, they got K-9 at running back. Um, you got, um, who is that? Who is their quarterback? I mean, like, is Gino. It? Gino. You got Gino at quarterback. I mean, like, you know, and then I think with, I think with, I'm telling you, watch for Seattle. I think Seattle could win that division too. I mean, like, you know, we don't know where the mind we don't know the mindset of the 49ers is after the Super Bowl loss. We don't know. Could this team take a step back? Ayuk's been not been at camp, which has been a concern. Um, right. There's just so many questions with San Francisco. You know, can you trust them? And yep. I don't trust San Francisco. I mean, like, obviously, so. We'll see what happens. Nope. Um, nope. I think I think they're going to take a step back. Yeah. I mean, so when you look at the division, you think you're. Go- I think who are you going? You're going Seattle. You're going Rams in the division. I'll go Rams. Yeah, I'll go Rams. I'll go. I'll go San Fran because I think they'll they'll start off pretty good, and then uh, and then I'll go Arizona and Seattle. No, no, no. I still think Arizona's going to finish in the basement. Okay. I'm going to go Seattle third. I'm going to go. I'm honestly going to go. You think I'm going to be crazy here, but I I do agree with you. I think the Rams will win this division, even though. I should take it back. I'm going to go San Fran. San Fran, L.A., um, Seattle. I'm Arizona and Seattle. I think, but it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if. Three of the four in this division, you know, make the playoffs. It really wouldn't surprise me. Um, no, no. This division reminds me of the NFC North a little bit. Yeah, let's talk the North. I mean, obviously, you look at the NFC North. Um, the Lions won the division last year. Um, Green Bay is a team that's keep an eye on. Chicago's another one. Minnesota. Right. Minnesota, you kind of like, besides Aaron Jones, I mean, like a Justin Jefferson. Um, mm-hmm. Sam Darnold there at quarterback. I don't trust Darnold. Um, you know, right. when you lose J.J. McCarthy, that's a big loss. Um, your offensive line, I don't think it's very good. And your defense is okay. So when you look at the Vikings, um, obviously the Vikings could be a team that could be a team in the last, in the cellar this year in the, in this division. I think they will be, but I think they're a team that can play spoiler. You, if you don't take them seriously, they will jump up and they will beat you. And Jordan asked him, we don't know about his situation. You know what I mean? 
Right, right. Yeah, and no, I really think it's a three-team race. Um, we'll see what Chicago does, but they are loaded with talent. Green Bay is extremely young, extremely hungry, and then the Detroit Lions are sitting on the throne and also young, so, you know, also vulnerable to a setback. Yeah, they're vulnerable. I don't want to say it, but, you know. Well, they got a tough schedule. Lions got a really tough schedule. I mean, like, obviously, um, but you look at the team the Lions have. I mean, like, obviously, Jared Goff has been proven to be the answer in Detroit. Um, You got Mm -hmm. a running game in Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, Amara St. Brown, um, Jamison Williams. um, And then you have that offensive line who's, I think, the best in, in football. I think it's is the offensive line with the Lions. I think they're the best in football. Green mm-hmm. Bay, Green Bay, Jordan Love. You got to love Jordan Love. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people in Detroit no, like him. Um, Caleb no. Williams, I was really impressed with him in the offseason. I've been always been impressed with Caleb Williams, especially what he's done um, in Oklahoma, in, uh, in Norman and also in Southern Cal. Roman Duze, mm. watch for him this year. He can have a monster year. Um, and then... Um, they got DeAndre Swift, the running back. Um, defense looks very good for Chicago. Um, I think, you know, Chicago could be a playoff team this year if things go right when you look at that division. They could be. It would hurt my soul if they were, but they have a ton of talent, and they, they, have a, they had a good defense last year. They had a you know, a near 500 record with Justin Fields, who we've seen is not good. So how, do you know, how do you know is, he's not good? Because he's had how long, and he was traded for a sixth-round pick, and he's fumbled how many times in the preseason, and he lost to Russell Wilson? What do you mean? How can you tell he is? How can you say he is good? Uh, it wouldn't he surprise me. It wouldn't he surprise me. Throw. It wouldn't surprise me if he's the guy. You know, I mean, in Pittsburgh. Um, but when I look at Chicago, I think eventually he will be. But yeah, but I look at Chicago. Caleb Williams, the quarterback. I mean, like, if he takes care of the football, I know he's had some a history of turning the ball when we was at um Oklahoma when he was at USC. Um, he's had some issues yeah. with that, but I think he's doing too. He, he's done too much. <laughs> I still don't trust the offensive line in Chicago. That's the biggest Achilles heel I have with the Bears is up front, and I think that's my biggest concern with right. Chicago. I mean, you got DJ Moore there too. I mean, like, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. And then what do you got? What do you got for the record or the order in that division? I've got Detroit, Green Bay, Chicago, Minnesota. All right, I'm gonna ride with you on that one too. Okay, so you're gonna ride me on that one too. So, <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. I mean, like, so in the NFC playoffs. There like, it is. So in the NFC playoffs, I mean, like, who do you think is the best team in the um, NFC in your mind? Motor City Kitties. The Motor City Kitties. Okay. That is a pretty easy, easy. I would say Detroit is, in my opinion, too. I think they're the best team in the NFC. In the NFC. I mean, even though San Francisco might have a case, and yes, but I think Detroit – Green Bay is definitely one of those teams to keep an eye on. Um, I really yep. think that when I look at the NFC, I think Detroit, you got to put Philly in that conversation. But to oh, me, yeah. Detroit, I don't see a weakness with Detroit. Um, I, I just right. think that um, I think if they, don't ha- if they don't have a step back, you know what I mean, then I think Detroit could be a team that they could surprise some people, they could scare some people. And I think that will be something to really – keep an eye on going forward um, when you look at the Lions. So let's talk your early season Super Bowl. Who do you think it'll uh, be? I actually got a roll, man. All right. got a roll. All right. And I'll I don't want to give you a Super Bowl. Let me give you a Super Bowl pick when we do this next time because. All right. I don't want to. <laughs> All right. Too early. It's, it's too early for you? All right, Ian. You take care now, Let's buddy. Let's meet in September. Let's meet at the quarter pole or something. Okay. Or at some point here soon, we'll talk results. Let's do that then. All right, Ian. Thank you really much, man. Right. Ian Weatherspoon Sam? here. Yep. What's up? Go Dragons, baby. Uh huh. Ian Weatherspoon here calling in here on the podcast here. On the podcast here. Um, 
Alright, I'm gonna sign off here. Make sure, um, wish everybody the best of luck this upcoming season. And we'll go from there. Take care. God bless and wish everybody the best of luck this year, especially in your fantasy season. So, good luck to everybody. And we will see you all soon.